a big breaking news coming in. The National Investigation Agency has revealed some sensational details in the Umesh Kolhe murder probe. In its charge sheet, the central agency has revealed a Tablighi Jamaat link in the murder. It said that the 11 accused were radicalized Islamists of the Tablighi Jamaat. This is what the NIA charge sheet presented in court has revealed. Bhaktosh, Arunil and Pranesha joining us on the broadcast with the details. Bhaktosh, these are some sensational revelations that have been made in the charge sheet, also revealing a much bigger plot, saying the 54-year-old was murdered because of his support uh, for Nippur Sharma, wanting to make an example of it and instill fear in society. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh... Uh, Pratiba, in fact, uh, the charge sheet which has been filed uh, last Friday in a court uh, in Mumbai uh, gives an uh, account of what exactly happened. Remember, this uh, murder was uh, initially passed off uh, as a routine crime uh, by uh, by the uh, uh, by the government in Maharashtra, and then subsequently uh, the centre decided to probe uh, this case uh, because they suspected something amiss as far as this crime is concerned. It has now been revealed that uh, uh, individuals uh, influenced and uh, believers in uh, radicalized uh, radicalized Islamist uh, from Tablighi Jamaat have uh, carried out this crime and the idea was to carry out a crime which leads to communal riots in in uh, in the country uh, they have further the NIS probe has further said that an IA probe has further said that it is a pre-planned murder and the whole idea was to uh, uh, vitiate the atmosphere in the country so that riots take place. As soon as this controversy broke out, uh, uh, Nupur Sharma controversy broke out in a very pre-planned manner, uh, Umesh Kohle was tracked. Uh, he, the murder did not take place, uh, the crime did not take place on the first occasion. This, on the second occasion, he was brutally murdered. Uh, there was a CCTV footage which uh, captured everything and then when the IA started investigating they found that radical uh, Islamists uh, from who have been influenced by Tablighi Jamaat had carried out this crime and uh, the f uh, further uh, details of this charge sheet has also revealed that all 11 accused in this crime uh, were part of a WhatsApp group who in fact then decided uh, to uh, to not only uh, kill Umesh Kohle but also send a signal to others who in fact were supporting uh, Nupur Sharma. So the details are sensational, but uh, the charge being that the police officials, did they try to underplay the entire incident on that or, or not? Before we get into more details of what the charge sheet reveals, Arunil, the charge against the Mahavikas Aghadi is that they tried to downplay it. The charge sheet reveals that it was a much, much bigger plot. It was well planned and the murderers carried out this attack with a very, very clear intention to terrorize society. Well, that is right. In fact, uh, Time Star was speaking to some of the leaders from uh, the present government, that is the BJP and the Shinde Sarkar. Now, Ravi Rana, who is part of the government, he is the local MLA from uh, Amravati. He basically said that he is going to the session now and he will be demanding that action needs to be taken against Uddhav Thakre, the then Chief Minister of Maharashtra, basically also making out a claim saying that it was Uddhav Thakre who had called the uh, then Amravati CP, R.T. Singh, basically telling her uh, to register a robbery case and not uh, the horrific, not investigate the horrific murder. The kind of details that have emerged are extremely, extremely uh, incriminating because the reason for that is around 11 accused uh, uh, acting very meticulously with a very terrorist mindset uh, to ensure that the punishment that was given to Umesh Kohle as well, only because he had posted something on social media, the punishment according to them was beheading and uh, their motive was to create fear, create terror uh, within the country and uh, now considering the fact that the NI has filed a charge sheet, the BJP as well as uh, the Shinde uh, uh, MLAs, basically they are blaming uh, Uddhav Thakre's government saying that at that time they didn't even uh, take it seriously. They were basically investigating from the robbery perspective. They didn't even consider the uh, Nupur Sharma angle and that is why uh, uh, some of the MLAs are saying that action needs to be taken against the then Home Minister Dilip Palche Patil and also against uh, the then CM of Maharashtra, Mr. Uddhav Thakre. Absolutely. In fact, uh, Umesh Kohle was murdered, a uh, chilling murder amidst the, in the peak of the Sartan Se Judah chance that had terrorized the entire nation. Uh, Pranesh and the charge sheet very, very clearly details the kind of planning that went into it. Times Now, Pratibha was the first channel 
to bring you the charge sheet in the Umesh Kole murder case. The NIA, the National Investigating Agency, is probing this case. And on Saturday, we were the first ones to break this, the certain plot, that this was not an ordinary crime. The NIA in the charge sheet has said so in as many words, that this was not a simple crime, but a handiwork of radicalized religious group. On a careful study of this chart sheet, there is something that stands out. And what is that something? I want to draw your attention. Here is the list of accused. As many as 11 main accused identified by the National Investigation Agency. Let's go over them and what the NIA says about them one by one. Here is accused number one, Mudassir Ahmad, son of Sheikh Ibrahim. The details are there. He's also known as Sonu Raza. See what's written here. Tabliki Jamaat once again. So two accused we've covered so far. Both have an association with the Tabliki Jamaat. Let's go to the others. Accused number three, Abdul Taufik Sheikh. You have Tabliki Jamaat mentioned once again. Let's go to accused number four. Here it is, Muhammad Shoaib, also called Bhuria or Shoaib Khan. He is also a member of Tabliki Jamaat. We are not saying it. The National Investigation Agency is saying this in its chart sheet. Let's go to accused number four. Accused number four, Atib Rashid. And you see the Tabliki Jamaat mentioned once again. Runs a dairy business but is now accused in the Umesh Kole murder case. Accused number six, Yusuf Khan. Tabliki Jamaat member. Occupation, veterinary practitioner. Now accused in the Umesh Kole murder case, accused number 7 is Irfan Khan. He is also a member of the Tabliki Jamaat. His occupation is estate agent, purchase, sale of second-hand vehicles. Let's go to the next accused. He is Abdul Arbaz, Tabliki Jamaat once again. So 7 we have covered so far and all the 7 or 8 have links to Tabliki Jamaat. Here is accused number 9, Mushfiq Ahmad. Tabliki Jamaat once again. He's a Maulana, he's a cleric. Here's the next accused, Sheikh Shakil. Tabliki Jamaat links once again. And here's the last one, Shaheem Ahmad, also called as Mate or Monu. He is also a member of the Tabliki Jamaat. The NIA in its chart sheet is saying that the youth associated with the radical group Tabliki Jamaat, the NIA is saying it that they were highly radicalized and it is only because of this that Umesh Kolhe was lynched.